What's up guys? I am so excited you are back here again this week. I'm Lori and this week instead of decorating treats, we're going to be decorating DIY Christmas ornaments. I've been wanting to do this video for so long and thank you so much to Zynga's Words with Friends for sponsoring a portion of this video. To jump in, I'm going to be doing some cupcake ornaments. So for the base of the cupcakes, I saw a video where they used spray foam, except it needed time to like rise up and set. So roll the footage of me making these earlier today. Uh, gloves and protective eyewear. So I'm following the safety rules in an apron. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I think that's on. I'm gonna add some paper clips in the bottom to weigh them down. Is that too much? It's supposed to expand. I don't think this is gonna make a very pretty cupcake. <laughs> it's like going a little bit and then going. For the icing, I'm gonna use spackly, which is basically when you like have a hole in your wall and then you smush that smeary paste into it. That's what this is, except we're gonna pipe with it. And I've got clay to make the decoration, so I figured we would do that first. baked and I feel like they look the exact same except <laughs> now they're not sticky. So they've definitely puffed up quite a bit. Why is this one all chunky? <laughs> and then this one, like a little baseball stuck inside my cupcake liner. Like, I mean, I know I put a little bit more spray foam into some of them, but like those just are not gonna work. This, however, this seems like the perfect kind. I just wanna peel off the liner and take a bite of this right now. Um, but instead of eating something that is not edible, I should probably get on to the next DIY. This portion of my video is sponsored by Zynga's Words with Friends too. Inspired by the little letter tiles, I'm gonna create a little Let It Snow snowflake. It's gonna be super cute. I've been playing Words with Friends for over 10 years and now I'm playing Words with Friends too. I've played with everybody. I play a lot with my friends and family. I've played with my husband, my dad, and even my old boss, who I beat by the way, which was a sweet victory. But I also like playing solo just to unwind and relax. I have really been enjoying the lightning rounds, which is like a good brain challenge for me, but they always have new events and challenges in the game, which make it all the more fun. Now I wanna play with you guys. You can download the link down below in the description and request to play a game with me. Just look me up under my ID, Lori Shannon. I'm gonna play with as many of you guys as I possibly can before Christmas. So once you're done watching this video, click the link down below and download the game. Thank you so much to Zynga's Words of Friends too for sponsoring this portion of the video. The next DIY I'm gonna do is gonna be a donut. I'm gonna do a really cool glaze on top of the donut using this like acrylic latex caulking and some acrylic paint. It's going to look very cool. I can actually dip it in the glaze like a donut. And I've just got some clay for the actual dough part of the donut. So let's make some dough. Clay is a lot stiffer than fondant. They are baked, they're cooled. I was thinking about painting them, but I feel like they look cute enough as they are. I figured we would try caulking instead and see if it does like a nice glaze on top of the donut. This is super thick. I don't think this is the type of thing you can water down. I've never worked with any of this stuff before. I don't know if it's enough. Oh, that's not bad. I 
think a chocolate glaze with like a little caramel drizzle would have looked cool too, but I really wanted bright colors for our Christmas tree, so we're going with this. Next one I'm gonna do, I'm really excited about, is gonna be a caramel apple. I just found it at the craft store, and now I need to try to match my decoupage, which is like what you used to make to make paper machés. You know when you used to get the balloons and you'd smear newspaper all over it with like little things, and then you'd like put that glue on top of it, and you pop it, and you paint it. You guys might think I'm crazy, maybe I'm the only one who did this, but I used to do that all the time as a kid. Same stuff, but we're doing it on an apple. I'm ready to dip it, super nervous. Um, and then after I dipped it, I have this corn cob like animal bedding. I got the pet store. It looks like chopped nuts. disclosure, I tried one of these like 10 minutes ago because I was looking at the consistency of this and it all drooped off of it, made a ginormous mess. I feel like it's because it's too wet. Now it does say it tacks up in like 25 minutes. So I'm thinking if maybe we wait like half that time and then put the nuts on, they won't droop. How are you doing? It has little bubbles. I'm trying to blow the, <laughs> blow the bubbles out of it. You look on Pinterest and everyone's like, it's easy, it's fine. You just dip the apple. And it's like, hey, but what about the bubbles? And what about the nuts falling off of it? It is getting late. It's getting very dark in this room. So I think we're gonna stop filming for the day and then come back when everything is dry and finish up the other DIYs. Welcome to day two. This looks terrible. I mean, it's, Thin and it drooped all of the nuts on it anyways. I feel like this is like an epic fail, but I am not a quitter. So instead, last night, even though it was really late, I went through and I made a whole other one. First thing I did differently was I used a gloss decoupage instead of the matte. And actually, the gloss one has a thicker consistency, so it's easier to put on. This went super dark when it dried, so I made it a little bit lighter, and then I came back and I gave it a second coat. I thought that made it look really nice and thick, but I was still terrified to put those nuts on because I did not want this to happen again. I let it fully dry for like an hour. It was still a little bit tacky. And then I just took the nuts, the fake nuts, and kind of put those onto the side. And this is how it turned out. I really want it to look better, but I mean like it wasn't hard to make this look better because this looks so horrible. But this actually turned out really cute. That's what happens when you don't give up and you persevere. Persevere? kept going and I conquered. Apple drop. Next, I wanna to try to make like a toaster pastry. I have a giant pile of felt here. I figured I would try sewing one. I don't know how to sew. Like I took home ec in high school. I remember nothing. So this could get interesting. That is super adorable. I guess my home ec skills weren't too bad with sewing. If you guys wanna see more DIYs in the future, let me know, give this video a like and comment down below. I really like making these DIYs and I'd love to do more in the future. So if you guys wanna do it, I will definitely wanna do it too. And I will see you guys again back next week where can we do something else fun? Cue sexy B-roll.